All right, we are in Minecraft, the Minecraft universe now, and um, yeah. So the, uh, the thing I did, I think I've already, you know, I'm I'm not, I'm just gonna turn around. This is the Pigman's house, um, built in Minecraft, all handmade, all the world around me, mostly just carved down so I could fit all this stuff in here. I'm, I'm assuming I already introduced most of this thing, this is what, the, what I was doing here in the, uh, in real life, because I'm obviously recording this a day before I'm presenting it, so my future self has probably already told you guys what I've done, so I guess I didn't really have to introduce that. But anyways, uh, this, I'm, I'm gonna try and rush through this here because I still have to do a little bit more stuff at the end and the presentation is supposed to be really fast. So I'm just gonna get uh, right into the video here. So as you can see around me, it's just the little entrance to the house, you know, there's the birch trees, some birch trees around. I actually made all these by hand. I'm uh, really surprised that I actually wanted to do that, but I think they look pretty good. They look more like birch trees rather than the normal birch trees because the normal birch trees that spawn in Minecraft are pretty short. So I built them taller, so they're all handmade and stuff. Uh, I got a nice little path, some flowers. So yeah, uh, here's the entrance to the pigman's house. You got yourself a little bench, you know, like right outside in your little deck or well, porch really. Um, so you can just look out and uh, have a nice view. So we are entering now the Pignati's house. Well the, you know, whatever, whatever, the, the last name, their, their family, what, well, at least what's left of it, um, <laughs> okay, anyways, um, so here's the entrance, got yourself a little window and flower pot, and here's the living room, we have ourselves a bookshelf, um, a clock, I actually didn't know this, but apparently if you put a clock in an item frame, uh, it works, oh yeah, and some of the terms I'm gonna be using for the blocks, like the real block names, like the the names of these blocks, like the item frames and the the hopper I have over in here. I'm I'm, I'm just gonna hopefully some people at least know what I'm talking about. The the people who do play Minecraft. But anyways, so you got yourself a TV, a little bookshelf, nice paintings, and this is actually a painting of uh, the last Donkey Kong level in the game. Uh, you got yourself a little couch and some rug in here. Rug. I have I have rug. I have rugs. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah. So here's our kitchen. Got yourself a little nice refrigerator to keep everything all cold and have it. I don't know why I decided to put raw fish in here, but I did. But there's some bacon too. Got yourself some furnaces to cook your stuff. Some, well, ovens, I guess. Got yourself a sink, and uh, I just put a tripwire hook and a hopper, and there's some water in it. You know, just to make the sink. Uh, right here, we got a little table, custom design floor, custom chairs, everything, uh, paintings and stuff. I'm actually getting a little bit of lag. I'm gonna turn that. Right. Let's just turn down that. That works. Okay, so we're gonna go upstairs here. Uh, got in ourselves a nice little railing, some lights, bookshelf, and then right here is my favorite part of the house. This painting apparently was added into Minecraft like way back in alpha and I decided because we just it's the pig man and you know you got this picture of it's supposed to be like this famous famous painting but then some random guy just walked in and slapped the face of a pig on there and now you got yourself a pig face on that. So I thought that was pretty funny I added that there's another clock here too. So you got yourself a little view, um, you got some dressers you know the funeral bill. Lots of terms, Silver Lake, Funeral Directors, all this stuff. I'm not going to read it because that would obviously take too long. And then you got yourself some little like music discs to listen to because this is pretty old. So I'm assuming you would have had some music discs. Then you got yourself your little clothes area. And then this key, which I'm going to be showing you guys what it does in a second. And then, wait, he has a sword? Oh my gosh, he did murder his wife. Oh my goodness, we found that we've solved the case. He needs to be arrested. Where is he? Just kidding. Um, yeah, I put that there because Max made that joke, or whatever. Anyways, yeah, and here's the jukebox, and here's his bed, and, um, actually, I'm not sure how long it's been. I feel like it's already been, like, four minutes, so I want to try and finish this up here. So that's, that's up there. What this key does is, uh, behind this painting, actually, as you all know, I still had to do the black curtain. 
So here is the pig room with the, all the pigs. Except uh, I only put in one because all the pigs would be very, very annoying. So obviously there would be pigs right in these little slots. But they would be very, very annoying. The, all the audio, you would, like, if I was just sitting behind this wall, you'd be hearing all the pigs making noise. So I didn't add all them. But we do have a little Jeffrey here, and uh, you can ride Jeffrey because he has a saddle. But uh, I'm just going to leave Jeffrey alone. He, he can have some peace, peace and quiet. So yeah, that's the house. Um, I'm just going to do a little aerial view of it again, just to finish it off. And um, before I end it off, actually, I'm going to put a little slideshow of what the world was before and then the progress of me making the house so yeah um this is the house and here is the slideshow